right everybody hey welcome to the video and here today I'm going to show you how to install hen using the alternative method this is primarily for people who have run into trouble or are running into trouble installing hen whether it's in the initialization phase or in the just launching hen phase you just can't seem to get hen into your ps3 this is kind of an easy method on how to do it now you will need to have your ps3 connected to the internet and you need access to a usb storage that is formatted to fat 32 in order for this stuff to work but it's pretty easy and simple and straightforward um, and even if you have issues where your ps3 freezes or locks up when you're doing the initialization of hen or the launching of it then this should help with getting it finally installed into the system so you can run it properly so first you're going to need a couple of things so first up is the hybrid firmware itself otherwise known as HFW. I'll put a link in the description. When you click on it, it will bring you here to this post. If you just scroll down a tiny bit, you'll see right here, as of right now, is HFW 485.1. And here is the link to Mega in order to download it. So go ahead and download that. The other thing you will need is to come over to uh, ps3exploit.com. And you can come here to um, uh, the V3 Han Tools tab. And when you're there, just scroll down to where it says Download Release Files and go ahead and click on that and download the zip. All right, so now on your USB, what you're going to do is on the root of it, you will create a folder called PS3 in all caps then in there you will create another folder called update again in all caps and when you go into it that's where you will put the hfw firmware you need to make sure it is renamed ps3 up dat dot pup all in caps just like it is right here okay now once you do that go back to the root of your usb okay I'll move that over to the side. Now here is the zip file you downloaded from PS3 Exploit. Let's go ahead and open that. You'll see this folder. Let's go into that. And we are going to get the Han Support Files 485 since we are working with 485. Go ahead and drag that out. All right, and there it is. So let's go ahead and close this. Let's take the main zip file that we downloaded. We don't need it anymore. So if you want to delete it, you can, or you could set it off to the side, whatever you want to do. So here's the one we just extracted, the Han support files for 85. Go into that. You're going to grab everything here, okay? And you're going to drag it to the root of your USB. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, and there we go. So now we have our firmware and we have these files. If you have other stuff on your FAT32 USB, other files or whatever, that's fine. You can leave them there. Uh, the PS3 is just going to ignore them anyway. I just have mine like this set up with nothing in it just to make it uh, easier to understand and follow. So let me go ahead and fire up the PS3. All right, so here we are at my PS3. You can see there is no hen anywhere to be found on here. All right, so anyway, let's go over to uh, system settings. <clears throat> All right, and go over to system information. You can see I am on 485. Now, it doesn't matter where you plug in that USB uh, storage to, so go ahead and plug it into your USB. I do recommend that you unplug anything else that you have connected to your USBs at this time. Again, it doesn't matter which side it's connected to. If later on, you, when we get to the hen part, you have some trouble or run into issues, then you might want to connect the USB to the USB port 000 on your system. On Slims, which is what I'm using right now, it's the rightmost USB port. So at this time, what you want to do is go to System Update, and you're going to go ahead and do it via Media Storage. And you should see that HFW firmware right there. You're going to hit OK and just follow the prompts to install like normal. But you want to do it twice. So once it's finished, 
go ahead and do it again. When it brings you back to the XMB, come right back here and install it again. So do two installs. Then when you're done doing the two installs, what you want to do after that is come over to system settings, right? And then you want to scroll up a bit and you want to go to display what's new and you want to make sure to turn this off. Now that you've done that, let's move on to the next step. And again, make sure that your PS3 is connected to the internet at this time. Let's go ahead and go over to the internet browser. Okay, and when we're there, we're gonna press triangle. We're gonna go into uh, tools. And then what you wanna do is you want to go to home page and you wanna hit use blank. Okay, and then select okay. Now, once you've done that, hit triangle again, let's go into tools, and then you wanna delete these three things right here. So let's delete the cookies, then the search history, and then the cache. Okay, so now you're going to back out of the browser, and then you're going to go back in, and when you do, you should have a blank page like this, then press the start button and you're going to navigate to ps3exploit.com. I'll put it up on the screen here. I already have it since I've been to it before. So go ahead and type that and then hit start to go to the site. And you can see here uh, the verbiage that pops up about 485.1. Just hit OK there and then hit OK here. All right, and now that we're here, you're gonna go ahead and go to the PS3 Hen tab. Then you're gonna select Hen Installer Alternate. So go ahead and choose that, press X on it, and you should get this popping up, and there we go, okay? So what you need to do is just read the instructions here. It's telling you to close the browser, open up Remote Play, and quit immediately. You'll see the new Hen uh, icon, and then after you select that, you need to reboot. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so we're gonna close out of this, hit circle, hit yes, and then we're gonna come to uh, remote play. We're gonna press X on here, and as soon as you see the next screen where the words pop up, immediately just press circle. So let's go into this. All right, guys, and as soon as you see these words pop up on the screen, immediately hit circle to go back. Okay, now that we're back, you can see now there is a new uh, little uh, tab or icon or whatever that says install hen. Let's go ahead and press X on it and then X again to install. You're gonna hit yes here. Okay, and it's automatically, it automatically downloaded and it's installing hen. Okay, install is complete. We're gonna hit circle. And now we are going to turn off the PS3 and then turn it back on. All right, and there we go. It's booting up and you can see the hen logo. And now we should have the hen icon and the packages deal up on our XMB. And there we go, there's the enable hen and there's the package manager. At this time you would enable hen and you can install your package files like Multiman, Webman Mod and all that good stuff. Now one thing I do recommend if you plan on recording uh, from hen, I ran into an issue and I didn't realize that it was actually HFW itself, not hen. My problem is I can only record uh, my Elgato would only record from the XMB. It would not record gameplay or when I went into a homebrew and I was thinking there was an issue with the PS3. It's not. That issue happens with HFW when it's installed. I It happened and I was able to duplicate it multiple times 
on two different systems. Both of them were 2501 series uh, slim PS3. So basically to solve that issue, you have to go into safe mode and hit rebuild database. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I, I, I'm not going to show you that part though. That's very easy to do. Once you rebuild the database, then yeah, everything uh, will work just fine. Although if you're not recording, um, then yeah, it didn't affect what you saw on the TV just on, in my case, on the Elgato, uh, it was affected that I couldn't record um, gameplay or homebrew. So anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, you know I appreciate you. If this was informative, if you found it useful in any way, shape, or form, if you just want to show some appreciation or love to the channel, don't forget the best way to do this is to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Much love going out to all of you guys. Remember, it's a crazy world out there. Please be careful, take care, and we will see you on the next one.